What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Big Time Football Talk. Uh, so I want to start with this. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I want to talk about a team that's kind of a um, been right in the mix of the Big Ten, but hasn't really been able to get over the hump of uh, beating Ohio State and some of the teams, and that is the Penn State Nittany Lions. Nittany Lions. So Penn State has uh, somewhat of a tough schedule this year. They have they play at Virginia Tech, they play at Michigan, and then they play Ohio State at home. They have an experienced offense with a uh, returning quarterback in Sean Clifford, who was pretty solid for him last year. I think uh, Clifford's definitely a guy that's capable of uh, winning some games for him. They returned Journey Brown and uh, Noah Kane at the running back position. Uh, Micah Parsons, a guy I've talked about in this podcast several times, a guy I just absolutely love. I think he's a phenomenal linebacker and a guy that has potential to be uh, a special player for them next year, not only uh, – college-wise, but uh, in the NFL, he's a guy that could really come on and draw the whole attention of the entire country. Um, Penn State is really a team that everyone's waiting to see if they can break through nationally. I mean, they've been right there. They uh, even won the Big Ten back in 16 and then uh, had a – so under Franklin, I think it's been two or three times they've won 11 games. But um, when you think of uh, teams that are in the mix in the Big Ten, it's Michigan, Penn State, Ohio State. Um, Michigan's still in the mix because uh, Michigan's beat them four out of the last six. So, uh, but Penn State, though, why they're in the mix, they've a uh, team that's been, really competed with Ohio State, and not a lot of teams in the Big Ten can really say that. So that's why Penn State's an interesting team. I think they're, they're to me, they're a second-tier team. Some of the second-tier teams are like Notre Dame, Florida, Michigan's like a second tier, but they're a team that's trying to break through to that first tier type of team. And uh, this could be the year they finally do it. They beat Ohio state and they get on the big stage with, uh, and they take down a Clemson or a Bama or an LSU. And that's when they really start to get the, the respect nationally. Their team that's just like, just waiting to try to break through there. Um, so, yeah, one of the few teams that's competed with Ohio State. I mean, there's talk is who's a team that, like, in the near future that can replace Ohio State. I don't I don't see anyone being that. But Penn State's a team that could, you know, be – it could be them or Ohio State. I mean, Michigan stays in the mix, but they haven't really been competitive with Ohio State. So, Penn State definitely a team to look out for in the Big Ten. I know a lot of people have predicted them to win the Big Ten. I'm not going to go that far, but they're definitely a team to watch. team that's recruited really well under James Franklin, and it'll be uh, inter interesting to see what uh, Penn State brings to the table in 2020. Make sure to like and subscribe for uh, – Make sure to like and subscribe to this video and stay tuned for more clips. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at BigTimeFootballTalk5. Until next time, peace.